kitchen foil. Yes. It's extremely thin. And I'm I'm going to attempt to do this by directing the heat away from the aluminum. I'm just going to try and keep the heat on the piece of copper tubing. And first, I'm going to cut some very small pieces of Stabrite alloy, little fragments. And Stabrite is the universal. Stabrite is a proprietary product made by the Harris Company, J.W. Harris has been in business since 1914 when Joe Harris, who was in the automobile industry, uh, developed a flux to use to repair radiators. And this is the original flux that the senior Harris, wonderful man, developed to repair radiators with solder. And that was the beginning of a family company which grew there from the Cincinnati, Ohio region. And when Joe's two sons, Joe Jr. and Gordon, uh, built the company and decided to retire, they sold the company to a multi-billion dollar corporation called um, Lincoln Electric. So Lincoln Electric then had Harris Alloys and another company that made torches, which was Harris Calorific, and they merged the two. And um, I've been their rep since 1966. Wow. Uh, I started my rep business in 1964, and I had another alloy company uh, originally. And then I had a wonderful long-term relationship with J.W. Harris. I am their senior rep. Now this is, this tip is too large. I would like a smaller tip, but I didn't bring one with me. So, this is going to be a real challenge. Oh, just a second. A vital ingredient is missing. Stay clean aluminum. Flux. Oh, okay. Now, when we use this Alcor, uh, this is cord aluminum wire, and it has the core with the flux in it. It's like an electrical solder. Oh, okay. But now, uh, tin silver that we call Stabrite requires a flux. And so, I will put, and it requires an aluminum flux. Okay. And that just helps to make the... The definition bond. of flux is a catalyst. And it's ideal where it aids in the process and then fades away. Um, someone who introduces you to the woman you marry, you know, is a, is a catalyst. It puts you together you're joined together and then she disappears. <laughs> That's what a flux does. Okay. Okay. But it does so metallurgically. Okay. Okay. And the flux emits an inert gas, a shield which keeps 
the air, which would cause oxidation, keeps it away from the joint you're making, because oxidation is the enemy of And that's the what's nice going to cause the hairline cracks and what. Well, premature cooling. Oh, okay. Charles, so. sir. This is Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee. HSI Mechanical. He may not have very much time, but you might try to come back later. Do something really interesting? Well, I'm trying. To aluminum? Yeah. That's exactly what Kevin was just asking about. Well, this is a this is a parlor trick. It doesn't always work. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying this for fun because um, the aluminum never changes color. It goes from solid to to gone in no time and so oh shit <laughs> way too much wow don't do this don't try it at home don't try this at home I think better we put there. Wow. Look, this is this is just uh, to see if you can do it without destroying the aluminum. So now we'll just cool it. And if you didn't put this stay clean on it, it would have the flux it would have burnt out. Or you don't want it. Flux will any kind of flux will burn. Um, flux. Now that's that I have wow. way too much alloy on that, yeah. but I had to get the flame away, or I would have destroyed this. But that is. It just shows that if you run the flame parallel to the aluminum, and just do heat transfer from the copper to the aluminum, you're better off. Yeah. So. That's not my best, but let me do aluminum for you while you're here, okay? Um, you want to see aluminum to copper? You want to see aluminum? Aluminum. Aluminum to aluminum. Okay. Fortune A is all aluminum now. It's not. It's really thin.